In this video, I'm going to be talking about seven best tips to craft a powerful social media marketing strategy for your network marketing business. Hey guys, mighty Johnny Mo here coming to you from my office in Nairobi, Kenya. I help millennials rise above their financial circumstances and dominate in the affiliate and network marketing industry by unraveling the secrets of attraction marketing. If this is your first time here and this message resonates with you, do consider subscribing and smash that bell icon so that you get notified whenever I upload a new video. So enough said. Are you struggling with creating an effective social media marketing strategy for your network marketing business? One that both fits in with your schedule and still provides massive value to your audience on a consistent basis? Well, I won't lie to you and say it will be a breeze because it will not. You will have to fold up your sleeves and get to work. If you're just starting out and feel a bit overwhelmed and excited about all of the potential possibilities, but you can't figure out where to start or how to put the pieces together, well, you are in the, in the right place. In today's video, I'll be sharing my top advice for creating a highly effective marketing strategy that works no matter which social media channel you primarily use for your business. So, number one will be vision and goals, all right? So, do not approach your social media strategy foolishly. Without knowing where you want to go or what you want to accomplish, how will you ever get there? You need to set aside time to truly figure out exactly what it is that your business needs and how social media can help fill that gap. This is actually the part where most people completely blow it. They come in with a very vague vision of what they want in their life. Foggy, delusional, and no form. Dude, you are not serious. The truth is that it this can be a pretty bumpy ride. There are ways to make it easier. Using tools and implementing training by those who are who are where you want to be. However, it's really smooth, which means that you need a crystal clear vision of where you want to be. You need to have a, a, a crystal clear clarity on what you want and where you want to go. This vision will get you through those times when things aren't working out so how how do you get clear on your vision and goals to drive your social media strategy forward one of the best things you can do before even getting started is to sit down and really map out exactly what it is you want to accomplish it is incredibly easy to get lost in in the seven seas of, of social media and you want to be absolutely sure that you have used your time and efforts wisely. You want to be extremely clear on your vision. Instead of saying, I want to make a lot of money, how much is a lot? What's the number? Is it a thousand? Is it ten thousand dollars? Or is it a hundred thousand dollars? By when you by when will you have it? What is your time frame? What will you do with it when you have it? What is your specific purpose? What, what will it feel like? How will that change your life? What feelings will you have once you have it that you are not feeling now? Will you have freedom? Will you have peace? Will you have gratitude? Instead of saying, I want a nice house, what does the house look like? Be detailed about it. Where is it? Is it by the beach? Is it by the lakefront? Is it in the mountains? Is it a ranch? Is it in Costa Rica? Who will live there with you? How will it feel when you wake up in this house every morning or go to 
sleep every night in that house hopefully you are you are seeing that generalities do not work with your vision you need details so that you can experience not just the appearance of these things but more importantly the feeling it has to be potent etch that into your bones that's when this vision drives you through blood sweat and tears let's be completely honest if you've never looked at your vision through this lens before then this may seem extremely odd it may feel weird and that's okay because it's usually those things that make us feel the most uncomfortable that we need the most right if you're having a bit of trouble with this don't worry it happens to the best of us it's important to also see clearly how your social marketing will play out and what results you'll get take a step back and see the whole picture even before you begin i are you looking to generate more leads do you plan to use social media for customer outreach or maybe you plan to use it to increase brand awareness or more likely all of the above the main thing that you want is to keep in mind that your goals should be measurable in one way or another if you want to generate more leads what is your daily weekly or monthly goal if you want to pl if you plan to use it for customer outreach will you use a feedback or rating system to measure results or if you plan to grow your audience and brand you might measure your your results through the amount of new fans or followers to your page or clicks to your website focus on one to three main goals to start get some results and skill up from there number two define your audience and the solution to their problems defining your audience and truly understanding who you are who you are creating your content for will help determine where you should be promoting creating more engagement and increasing conversations this is because you are creating congruency in your messaging some of the questions you might want to ask yourself about your ideal customer include how old are they where do they work what profession are they engaged in? What is their income level? What kinds of interests do they have, personal and business? What are some of their struggles and pain points or pain points? What kinds of obstacles or objections might they have? What are their habits, likes and dislikes? What motivates them what motivates them the more clear you get with your answers the more you'll be able to fine tune a marketing plan that perfectly suits their needs this helps you determine the perfect type of messages to put in front of your audience as well as gives you great information about where these people tend to hang out online who is your target market and how can you solve their problems the key to effective marketing is simply de delivering the right message to the right person. Don't sell your world-class steak to a vegan. It won't do you any good. Marketing is less about selling and more about solving problems. Let's face it, if your audience didn't have problems, they wouldn't need your product and that goes for any more any market many people lose a lot of money and time by trying to market their products or opportunity to the wrong audience it's like the old cliche of selling ice to eskimos you'll probably do a lot better with a soup standing by when you're selling to eskimos rather than a snow cone stand get it know your audience so what are the three simple steps to find your perfect target audience number one step number one get crystal clear on what your product or opportunity does your product or opportunity has certain features that that others don't have which will help a certain type of person if you don't know exactly what those features are then you'll be lost you'll be lost right from the beginning and will be forced to do a ton of trial and error to find out 
and by that that time most people give up and quit if you become an affiliate for my lead system pro today you and you are planning on market on marketing the membership to earn commissions it will be a good idea to research exactly what mlsp offers here is just a few things that will you will find lead generation training get leads for your business mlsp sites a blogging platform Funnelizer, lead capture creator customer relationship manager crm and the list goes on and on there's plenty more but this is just for simplicity sake now we know the features of some of the things mlsp has to offer so what must you do you must turn those features into benefits features are great but they don't tell you exactly who might who might want your product because they don't tell you exactly why your target market might want your product in this case mlsp is the product so let's continue with this example and transform those features into benefits so that we can get closer to who we want to pinpoint a target to keep it simple i'll use only one of the features listed above the benefits of mlsp weekly lead generation training what are some benefits prospect can get out of this training what's working now strategies to get leads online for their home business this solves the biggest struggle for online marketers which is lack of leads especially once they run out of their warm market which is their friends and family newbie friendly training from leaders in the industry which means even the newest marketers can use the information to build their business training that covers every major and effective marketing web and social platform marketers can use just one or any combination of marketing platforms to get leads including blogging facebook youtube twitter instagram and the list goes on training which teaches you to attract the most targeted leads members can get leads coming to them instead of having to chase people by knowing now exactly what our product has we can now figure out something about our target market we now know we can target network marketers struggling to get leads struggling online marketers who already have a home business newbie online marketers who just got started and don't know what to do next or even fast people who want to build their businesses and get leads on certain platforms like like facebook or youtube people who are tired of chasing leads and want to learn attraction marketing network marketers who have run out of the, out of their family and friends list do you see how much clearer your target market just got in this case without taking the time to do this exercise most people will start and stay at people who want to make money from home or people who want to fire their boss but that is a very wide net to cast and in doing so you will waste a ton of time and money trying to capture the right people now by doing this exercise you've narrowed your options which is a good thing in marketing and now have a better idea where to start and you can even start thinking about ideas for content however it goes even deeper in step number 2 with a different example to make sure you get it step number 2 is get crystal clear on who is most likely to buy your product It's amazing how many people either skip this step or don't research it deep enough to know exactly who to go after. One of the big problems that marketers run into is they think that everybody will want their product or service because it's so great or they want to join the opportunity for the same reason. It's a nice thought, but when you market to everybody, you are marketing to nobody. at all you're simply a jack or a jen of all trades you must pinpoint those people who will need or want your product most a hungry market you must narrow down your niche for example if you've got a weight loss product you might initially think that finding overweight people who want to lose weight should be pretty 
simple it's a common problem there's a lot of potential people out there and everyone should want to lose weight if they are overweight because it's not healthy so you might think however not everyone does want does want to lose weight some people will care less about how much they weigh they are happy with themselves the way they are and they have no motivation to even try and that's fine because that's not your best audience knowing that actually helps you it will be an uphill battle to try to sell a weight loss product to them to do so you'll, you you'd have to have a lot of convincing and educating on why they should they should lose weight that's a much longer process but some people are extreme extremely motivated to lose weight they may have a wedding coming up or a vacation planned or may or may just have been warned by a doctor that not losing weight could have dire consequences which person would you rather present your product to the person that that's most ready to buy your product right now or the person that needs a lot of education and convincing now let's go back to the mlsp example from step 1 You can drill down even further by finding out who's closer to the buying cycle or as it it's sometimes called the low hanging fruit. Want an example of who that might be? How about network marketers who have already figured out that family and friends aren't as interested as they thought they'd be? Someone who's strugg- who's struggling right now with how to market their business online and are doing things completely wrong and therefore getting no leads. Couldn't that couldn't MLSP training be the solution for them? By targeting them, you'll likely have to do much less convincing, which means a shorter sales process, which means faster profits. Step number 3 find out where they hang out most online Every niche market has their favorite hotspot that they like to hang out why because birds of a feather flock together Let's look at golf for is- for instance golfers like to watch golf read about golf watch videos about improving their game learning about new g- golf clubs balls swings you get the idea but let's narrow down a bit where we can find these golfers golfers are typically a bit older maybe retired or nearing retirement if they are not retired they might be more professional maybe even playing golf over business deals it's therefore easy to guess they are probably not hanging out on snapchat with their kids You're more likely to find them asking questions in Google, watching videos on YouTube or inside a golf group or inside of a golf group inside Facebook. People in the golf market age bracket are comfortable with Facebook where they don't need their kids or grandkids to show them how it's done. They may very well be on Twitter also following popular golfers golf magazines or on linkedin hanging out and doing business deals why the heck are we talking about golf well first of all it's a market that likes to spend a lot of money but more importantly it it's it's to show you how to hone in on where your target market might be answer these questions below to pinpoint your best social media marketing prospects one What does your product do and how does it benefit people? 2. Who's the most ready to buy your product or join your opportunity? And 3. Where do they hang out? You may even find that you have a few different types of avatars for your business, which is totally fine. Just try to focus on one or two main types to begin with and work from there. Number 3 leverage the right social media channels this is a step where many people start to unnecessarily overwhelm themselves by believing that they need to market across every platform believe me i was a grass 
I was a grasshopper, jumping on everything in sight, but early on, I learned the importance of focus. While it is awesome to have a presence on all of the social media channels, it is really important to keep your focus. Why? Because where focus goes, energy flows. What is the best social platform for your social media marketing strategy? Luckily, you now know how to figure that out a little easier. These days, there are various social media platforms to, choo to choose from. At MLSP, we always recommend starting with and mastering one platform and then you can transition into others. Some, some, some things about your target market to consider when choosing your social media strategy platform are age, income level, gender, profession, where they live, the reach of the social media platform, the level of engagement available on the platform, and your product type. So what social media marketing platform choices do you have? The truth is that there are tons. However, we want to make sure the pool of prospects is big enough to actually find you to actually find your best prospects. Therefore, to make it easier on yourself, you would likely want to choose one of the following: Facebook. With 2 billion users plus the ability to engage with your audience in various ways, including posts, comments, likes, FB Messenger, live videos, paid ads, it's hard to beat Facebook's reach at this time. This makes it well worth spending the time learning how to use this social network. Twitter. This is a micro-blogging platform which has approximately 330 million active users. Twitter allows you to communicate through posting, commenting, liking and direct message as well as paid ads. The lower reach gives it a disadvantage to Facebook as well as the limited characters you can use with each post. You'll also find that the greatest majority of people are 30 and younger though an older crowd is starting to come over. Instagram. There are 700 million users on Instagram. You can engage on Instagram by posting images and short videos, commenting, direct messaging, and posting stories. The age demographics on Instagram is quite is a bit lower with most of the users under the age of 35 at the time. Still confused and, over and overwhelmed where to start? Confusion and overwhelm will kill your business faster than anything and we can't have that. So here is an easy solution if you are really feeling stuck. Start with Facebook. The reach is massive. The age group is spread out and truthfully plenty of MLSP top leaders have started with and stayed on Facebook. Meaning it's what they still solely use now and earn multiple six figures a year from home. Start there and you'll find prospects from nearly every market you choose. As you continue to build your business and grow your audience, you can always add the other social media strategies at a later point. You want to factor in both your personal preferences and the preferences of your ideal prospect to find a winning channel. If it's something you enjoy doing, you'll be much more likely to stick with it. Number four, create a social media content strategy. Now that you've researched and brainstormed, let's move on to the next step in your social media marketing strategy. It's time to mark to map out a social media content strategy. Creating content without purpose is unchecked chaos. You might get some likes and shares, but if you want to create measurable, le relevant, and consistent results, it is crucial to create and post with purpose. When it comes to putting together an effective social media marketing strategy, one of the key things that you want to, to remember is that your purpose is to attract the people in your target market to you through your content. By now, you know who they are and what they want. 
What's going to make them believe that you are the right person for them to buy from? What will make them want to join your business opportunity? The answer is simple. Become an authority in your niche market. You become the trusted source of information. This is the same with absolutely any content marketing strategy, by the way. Whether it's on social media, your blog, or on YouTube, you want to start getting people coming to you because of the content that you showcase. What's the purpose of, of your social media content? It's actually pretty simple. It's one of the three things that you are trying to achieve at any given moment when marketing your business. As long as you know that, you can always stay on track. One, build your audience. Two, engage with your audience. Three, sell to your audience. Most people tend to overcomplicate everything when building a home business. It's quite simple, really. You must always be branding you as the authority in your marketplace. On social media, building your audience means building the number of people who follow you online. When you engage with your audience, this refers to the way you interact with them on the chosen social platform. And sell to your audience obviously means when they buy your product, service, or join your opportunity. But here is the cool thing. All three of the above are done through content. The internet runs on content. This can come in many forms. It can, it can come through text posts, images, video marketing, live broadcasts, Facebook Messenger, Twitter Messenger, and the list goes on. So if you have no audience yet, that's the first thing you'll want to start building. As you build that audience, you'll want to add in steps to engage with them. And as you start that, you'll start selling to them. The way that you present yourself online matters. And here is an important bit. The way that you, that you present yourself matters online. Your branding yourself. You're building your brand. Your first impression counts. You'll want to make sure you're coming across as a credible authority in the marketplace. Be yourself. Always put your best foot forward and let your personality shine through that lens. This builds that no like and trust factor that's critical to being able to convert prospects into leads and eventually into customers. Your brand means everything and if you tarnish that from the beginning, your audience judges you, like it or not, and therefore you're simply shooting yourself in the foot from the get-go. So, be professional from the very start. So, how to look like a professional social media marketer on Twitter? If you're marketing on Twitter, you'll want to make sure your profile page looks professional and again, that brands you as the person that someone in your target market will want to follow. Here is some of the things you'll want to have on Twitter. An inviting profile picture, a friendly picture of yourself, a welcoming banner that gives prospects an immediate idea of why they should follow you, and a custom username and URL. Your social media content posting protocol. In step three, which social media channels did you choose to focus on and master? Now choose some leaders in your industry who rock that strategy effectively and start to follow and engage with what they do on their channels. How often do they post? What kind of content does, your, does their audience love? What kind of images or videos do they share? Take note of anything that stands out and make use of what you learn as inspiration for choosing and creating your own unique content for your page, whether it's Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook. So, planning your social posting ahead of time. If you're going to be effective at marketing your online business, you must be insanely consistent.
Consistency is the king is the key to winning at this game. If you have to show up every day, rain or shine, even when you don't feel like it. However, there are ways to make it a bit easier on yourself. One thing you can do is actually plan out your topics for the week or month. Do you have any special promotions happening that month? Is there a certain marketing strategy that you want to share on training? One great thing about the MLSP system is that you can always leverage the back office, live training, and wake-up calls to help come up with topics. You can listen to an MLSP wake-up call and turn part of that message into an image quote crediting the speaker. You can watch a recorded training in the back office and write a blog post or make a video on what you learned to share on Twitter. You can look ahead at the week's training schedule and create promotional material for the webinars coming up. By knowing the social media channels you want to master and exactly how often often you want to post, it will make it very simple for you to, to just map out a large amount of content ideas in one go. This will allow you much more time to actually promoting your content and building relationships. Number five, organize your social media workflow. This is an area that many people struggle with simply because they often feel like they need to do something the same way other people are doing it. But But the reality is that we don't all have the same schedule, lifestyles, and responsibilities. It it is most important for you to figure out a workflow that suits you and your family, even if that doesn't fit the mold of everyone around you. Do you have a job that takes up a good part of your day? Or children at home who keep you busy? Do you find your work best when you have uninterrupted long stretches of time? You might you might be someone who benefits from doing batch work and scheduling out your content daily and weekly. If you work from home full time and, and find you work better on small projects or, or work best at certain times each day, you might find it's easier for you to create your content fresh daily. This also works well for someone who really knows how to maximize those extra pockets of free time in your day. Or you might be like me and find that a little bit of both works best. What I do is create a master list of all the tasks I need to get done for the week in regards to my social media marketing plan and I divide up the tasks based on batch work and daily tasks. You might find that some tasks tend to happen daily while others may take a few days or weeks for you to do them again. The more organized you get with your plan, the easier it will be to execute. Number six, analyze and track the health of your business. Remember in step number one, when we talked about setting measurable goals? Well, in step number six, it is all about tracking and optimizing those metrics. If your goal was to get 50 new fan page likes per week, you can easily use Facebook's data to ensure you are reaching that goal. The same thing is true for all for all social media platforms that provide data for your business. For example, Twitter, Instagram, and Pinterest all make it super simple to see your growth and analytics. However, for things like website clicks, new leads, and sales conversions, you want to make sure you already have the proper tracking in place before going into full-blown promotion mode. As an MLSP member, what's great is that all of that is already included. Whether you use custom links or system campaigns, you are able to track the impressions, clicks, leads, and sales. If you're using your own links, or sites, you can you can use link trackers such as Bitly in order to gather your data. If you plan to use Facebook marketing as one of our primary methods, you can also utilize pixels on your site in order to track all of your visitor data so that you can optimize your campaigns and get better results. 
The main thing to keep in mind is that much effort is wasted without tracking. Know exactly which actions are producing the best results and put your focus there. Point number seven, engage, convert, maintain, and grow. As your systems are set up and you are releasing content, content consistently, you can start to focus your efforts more on engaging with prospects, increasing conver conversions, being consistent with the tasks that are working well, and figuring out new ways to grow from there. Remember that creating content in advance or scheduling your social media posts in, is in no way meant to replace human interaction. In fact, the goal is to free up more time to make that engagement stronger. As your posts go out each day, be sure to pay attention to comments, messages, or engagement from your audience so that you can actively respond to them. Another benefit of getting your content created in advance is that you can also spend time optimizing it for conversions. As you start to get some tan tangible results, you can then use those results to determine if you need to change anything in your content or funnel in order to get more leads or sales. Social media can be an extremely powerful tool to grow your business online if you equip yourself with the right plan, right tools, and right mindset. I hope these seven steps help you get started in the right direction and defeat any overwhelm you may have been feeling. Remember that no plan needs to be permanent. A social media marketing plan will always evolve and change as your business grows and you learn what what does and what doesn't work but having the plan in place creates a strong foundation from which to build the more clear and strategic you are the better your social media results will be so question of the day what kind of social media marketing strategy do you use for your network marketing business drop it like it's hot and let me know in the comment section below guys that's it I hope that has been helpful to you. I want to invite you to a thriving community of home business owners that will help you get your game on point. A tailored step-by-step -step guide will get you from struggling to consistent lead flow just like that. And we all know what that means, right? Signups, sales, and cash flow right into your business. Imagine attracting the perfect customer versus spamming, pitching, chasing, cold calling, and getting rejected. Isn't that something that you will welcome into your business from here on out? Check out MightyJunimo.vip. We will help you to position yourself as the leader, expert, and authority, build solid relationships, create a community of raving fans, and gain that trust. So what are you waiting for? I hope to see you grow. I hope to see you so like an eagle and until then, I'll see you in the next video.